Well, I got a package in the mail. Oh, really? So pretty heavy, yeah. Oh. Hey, Will, I'm your biggest fan. You've inspired such a love for donuts, so I wanted to send you the best donuts from my hometown. I think there's something on the back of the card. Really? Better than a cake donut. What is going on guys? Will here, welcome to the video. Frozen foods have come a long way since they were first introduced in the 1940s, seemingly available for any meal, any uh, any special occasion, and any dietary restriction. But as they've evolved, have they gotten better over time? Are they that good that I can tell my mom to stop making that beautiful home cooked meal so I can throw something in the microwave for 90 seconds? Well in today's video, we're gonna find that out. So everything today is frozen, and I like to think that I am quite the food critic myself, so I'll let you know if you should buy them, and I'm kind of like in character. I'm trying to think this is like a frozen vibe, but everyone's saying I look like a genie. And I can grant you a couple wishes. Time to make some breakfast. So I still buy frozen foods every now and then based on the picture, even though I know it looks nothing like the picture. I don't know if that's shallow of me, but I feel like we're all guilty of it. So today we're gonna to be taste testing things on a scale of one to 10. One being it's an MRE, meals ready to eat, and 10 being restaurant quality. And I feel like a frozen meal is trying to achieve a five, just slap dab in the middle. It's not amazing, it's not horrible, it's just, it will do. So I feel like they do a great job too with the packaging. For example, this one right here, you got the breakfast bowl, you got the guy kind of blurred out in the background that just it pops and makes you extra hungry. Depth of field, perspective, and I feel like 90 seconds for everything. We can't do much of a cooking B-roll, Kofi. Yeah, we can. We can? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so let's not delay this amazingness any longer, but right off the bat, I wanna say, I'm cooking everything today like the chef intended. If it says 90 seconds, it's going in for 90 seconds. If it says a minute and 15, it's going in for a minute and 15. So we're gonna start off with this Crave All Day Breakfast Bowl, and it has given me a bathtub full of bad vibes for many reasons, the first one being frozen egg is just weird on its own. It has steak in it, which I believe would be the rejected meat, but I always got time to fit that in. I have an immediate impression of this one, and that is it should be discontinued. That that steak is so overcooked. I usually like to wake up to something a little bit more raw, especially if they're trying to show my mouth a good time. I don't know what that white sauce is, but right now it is saving it. And you know what? The more I eat it, the more it kind of settles in my mouth and I connect with it. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's better than an MRE. But if I was at a restaurant, I would consider sending it back. So I'm gonna say this is a four. I'm gonna give this a four. We're going with a four on this one. Now we're gonna move on to the egg, the egg bites. So this one says it's made with real eggs, which is, which is great news. I'm not very picky with what I eat. I just want the things to be real. Uh, we got meat lovers flavor. I'm a meat lover, also known as the quadruple bypass flavor. So it's a pork trifecta. So it's a nice little hockey puck. Cuts like a kitchen sponge. I don't know if I just got lucky, but sausage is dominating my mouth. It's a dream. Better than I anticipated, for sure. Visually, this is something you don't want to eat. It's a little bit green. I feel like the freezing made do with that. Positive vibe on this one, so I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a six. Let's go with the breakfast sandwich. I love a breakfast sandwich, like a stout, plump breakfast sandwich like it shows on this package. And this one is rather shallow, but height is not the only thing that matters. It does not have that crackly, flaky kind of thing going on from a croissant that I like. Definitely the, the freezing process got rid of that. Texturally, there's nothing. I feel like you could take your dentures out and you'd eat, you'd eat this just fine. Very small too, for 300 calories. Absolute joke. So I'm gonna give that, I'm gonna give it a four.
When you're making pizza pockets, you really gotta keep an eye out because the best ones explode in 30 seconds. Time for the pre-workout meal, and I'm gonna call this one the Italian sitting, even though it's gonna cause a ton of controversy in the comments. So the first thing that we are having, I would say 99% of people get it for pure curiosity, the other 1%, I don't know what to tell y'all. So this is a pizza pocket stuffed with bacon, mac, and cheese. So I have two thoughts in my head. The first one being that this could be so good that this is where us as humans peaked. Or two, this is a sad indication of the direction humanity is going. I just had my own internal existential crisis. And uh, let's go in. You know what? I have not had a pizza pocket do me wrong yet until just now. It feels and tastes unsafe, if that makes sense. I feel like if I could eat this, both of these, comfortably without hesitation, I'd get therapy. It's just so rich and so heavy. You know what this is a case of, Kofi? What? This is a case of too much of a good thing. Pizza pockets are amazing. Mac and cheese is amazing. Bacon is amazing. But it's just so decadent that after one of these things, which is small and 250 calories, you're gonna need to elevate your feet. Look at that steaminess action. Probably won't finish that. Overall score, wow. Special edition, hopefully it's limited edition. And I'm gonna give that a three. Disgusting. So next thing we're going on to is the Michelina's Rigatoni Pomodoro, which is pasta and spicy tomato sauce. Fun fact, I was very enthusiastic about this brand in particular growing up as a chubby lad. I don't know why, I was just drawn to the taste of Michelina's. She must have tasted really, really good. So it's been a long, long time. By the smells of it, we walked into an Italian restaurant that is also a drug front. Not feeling very optimistic about it. The sauce is a spice of a company that you'd expect out of Minnesota. That is for sure. The sauce is out of tune, to put it lightly. Just out of tune. It's a little bit more ketchupy, and a lot of basil-y, not so much culture. So I'm gonna give this out of, out of 10. I'm gonna go five. It's doing exactly what it's trying to be. It's a microwave dinner and that's it. It's not any better and it's not any worse. So we are making a pre-workout slushy, and if this turns out well, this would be a great thing to have when you're dieting because it just increases a bunch of volume. So we started with some water here and now we're going with a boatload of some ice cubes. Talking a lot of ice. Okay, ice is in, I'm gonna put it onto the blender here. So we're gonna go with some BPN products, my Tenny Elixir. Tenny will save you 10%, link will be in the description. So always the flight pink lemonade flavor. Gonna go with a heap scoop, that's how we do it in this house. One. Next we're gonna go with some reds. Get your reds in, it's just a great way to, you know, aid in that nice, beautiful shoulder and arm pump. Again, a heap scoop going in, and it's only 10 calories. A lot of you guys have been wondering that. And then last but not least, we got some Endo Pump Blackberry Lemonade. All right, let's see what's up here. Look at that. That came out a lot faster than anticipated. It always does, but that is really, yo, that is delicious. That is so good. Start blending your pre-workout with ice. Chicken as one of the things you are what you eat, you know? Um, yes, please. This is this is dessert. Will, Will, no, Will, you, you good? Yeah. 
the aroma is in this room. I'm not really sure where I am. I just know I'm not in Nashville or in India. But um, where should I start, Kofi? What do you think? Let's go with the Indian food. The Indian food? Okay, so we got it in little quadrants here. So it doesn't quite look like that. I'm like, in my opinion, put the sauce on the rice. The rice is so absorbing of any flavor. And just take advantage of that. You know what I mean? So it's in different quadrants, like I just said. And the ratio of chicken slash sauce to rice is making me a bit grumpy, but we just gotta keep calm and curry on. So I'm assuming the chef wants us to kind of go in and then scoop into the rice. And this one took seven minutes to make, so I never thought I'd aspire to be a microwave dinner. So we're gonna grab some chicken, which is a pretty big piece of chicken, may I add. Grab some rice. Oh! The chicken. The sauce is not bad, but running it through the, the, the rice and going back to my mouth is a trip I don't really want to take again. The rice, when it's frozen, it just has a really weird dry taste. I feel like if I ever encounter this meal again, I don't know how I will, I would need to have some more moisture here. I'd be like, give me some mango chutney or something. I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give it a five. It's exactly what it's trying to be. I think it's just a good frozen, Indian dinner. Overall, positive vibes about this one. Now we're gonna go on to the Hungry Man. So this is the XL bowl. So theoretically, this should be the meat that fills me the most. And I gotta give them credit because on the box, the chicken's just popping out and our chicken is just popping out. And um, this thing's trying to stare me down and it just won. Because visually, it's not that pretty. On the nose, it's not half bad. So we're gonna give it a little mix. And usually I associate fried with crispy, this, this uh, bird's practically more drowned because it's so soggy. That has a decent flavor profile, yo. And it has a kick to it. Whoa, it has a spice that will throw you off. Yeah, this is frozen, man. Take me to the freezer aisle, you know? This is really, really good. I could think that I'm at a mediocre restaurant. I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna go above a five. I think it's, I think it's overachieving. It's overachieving. And I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a seven. Meal number three, probably the best sitting so far of the day. And we got one more, slash kind of two more, one being dessert, but one more that's next, which I'm the most excited about. So Victoria is out of town. My little sister is at school and my dad is I'd like to know, right? So it's just me and my mom. My mom's my date for dinner tonight. So she's gonna be joining in on the frozen pizza uh, pizza party. So we have two different pizzas. We have a pizza Ogi. Is that Ogi? I don't know, maybe it's the OG. Pizza, o pizza OG, a <laughs> vegan pizza. It's a cauliflower crust, award winning. And then we got Dr. Ugker's, um vegetable, 43% vegetable crust. So hopefully the other 57% pulls its weight. Can I just ask a question? Yeah. How come when we're home alone, when you could be making me dinner, we're having bloody frozen pizza? Content. Cheers. Cheers. To a great dinner. To a great dinner. To the chef. Mm -hmm. Dr. Rutger. Mm -hmm. So which one do you like to start with? I think this one. This one is the Dr. Utker. So it's a spinach crust. And on top we got some broccoli and mushrooms. So we're ranking everything from one to 10. One to 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. One being like an MRE, 10 being you could see yourself having this at a restaurant. Oh. Okay. That is shockingly good. It is good. Mm hmm But I will say, as soon as you get it in there, in your mouth, it's evident that's imposing. You sound like a food critic that's like mm -hmm. on crack. Yeah, but I mean, it's cracker like. I like that. You know yeah. me, I like crispy. Uh -huh. It's really good. You know what? Compared to a lot of pizzas that I get in the restaurant, I take this. Seriously? I like it. Yeah. Oh, I, you know <clears throat> what? I really, I think I'm going to give this a nine. <laughs> oh my God. Do you have like a, a, a brand deal with Dr. Alcar or something? <laughs> I'm going to just like be realistic here. And I'm going to say like seven. Okay, so moving on, yeah. we're gonna go to the vegan ones. This one is hand-stretched, stone-baked. Love anything hand-stretched. Mm -hmm. So it's Beyond Beef Crumbles, cauliflower crust. I think the beef is decent. The cheese is horrible. The cheese tastes like mush. But the cauliflower crust is decent. It gives me more of that like actual feeling that I'm having pizza. No, I don't like it. Mm. 
I that one's significantly better. Yes. I will say. So I'm gonna go down and say that this is like four territory for me. Mm. I'm gonna say three and a half. The last frozen thing that we are looking at today is this Klondike Donut Bar Boston Cream Flavor. And funny enough, it's 220 calories for one of these, which is the exact same calories as a Boston Cream at Tim Hortons, which is a crazy coincidence. So I've never had a Klondike Bar in my entire life, at least I, I can't recall. And I find that a lot of people who try to replicate the Boston Cream flavor profile they fail miserably because there's three different components. There's the chocolate, the filling, and then the actual donut dough. And you can only usually get one of those things. So right off the bat, I am kind of rattled that there's actually a hole. It's a Boston cream. There is no holes. Can't smell anything, actually. Whoa. Once you like overlook the fact that it has like actual crunch to it that a Boston cream wouldn't. And the chocolate kind of melts in your mouth. I'm gonna give this, for what it is, I'm gonna give it a nine, a nine out of 10. I've not found a Boston cream flavor thing to be executed as well as this yet. So highly recommend checking these out. So I wanna conclude today that frozen meals have just really not gone any better. They've all been actually pretty bad, which leads me to say, do you guys have any favorite frozen meals? If you do, comment them down below. I'm curious to try them out. So I'm gonna wrap up the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.